the most common time you'll need to read a measuring cup is when baking or cooking. Most often, you'll see a measuring cup that looks similar to the one on the screen. The one I am showing you is a two cup, but remember, you might also have one that's one, two, or four. Most of these measuring cups are going to be in our um, American units, cups and ounces, as well as milliliters on the back. Ignore the milliliters for now. Um, you'll also notice there are ounces listed along the side. Um, when you're baking, you typically won't use ounces, but we typically see ounces in products that we buy, such as soda pop. When you're looking at these larger cups, they might not have all the numbers listed. So earlier, we reviewed the order of our fractions so that you know what lines belong where, um, even if the numbers aren't listed. So looking at this measuring cup, you'll notice that the first line on the very bottom doesn't have a number by it. So let's take a moment to look at the pieces that are numbered. Over on the left, I see one third, half, two thirds, and one. So that should let us know that what's missing is the one smaller than one third, which is one fourth. Then in the middle here, we are also missing three fourths. So look carefully at this measuring cup and let's figure out how much liquid is in this cup. You'll notice on the right, it does show our measurement in ounces, but we actually wanna know the measurement in cups. So on the left side is where we're gonna see the fraction one half, and that's half of a cup. In our next example, the liquid is filled up to a spot where there isn't a marking. So again, we wanna see what marks we do have. So right below my line, um, I see one half. Okay, so I just marked where the half is in green. And then I notice above the line is one cup. That's directly in the middle of one half and one. Um, that was three fourths. So I have three fourths of a cup.